An autonomous car is a vehicle which can operate the car without any driver or part of a journey. They sense the environment and control the car without the engagement of a human. My work looks into understanding the support that drivers may require when they're asked to take back control when the vehicle unexpectedly seeks to give back control to the driver. Driving is fundamentally a decision-making process as we make 150 decisions per mile, such as lane changing, speeding up, slowing down. Of paramount importance is understanding the level of situational awareness of the driver during the driving task, so that we can understand whether they can take back control in a safe manner and execute the required task in a safe and timely way. One way how robots such as autonomous cars can communicate with humans is through feedback, such as visual or audio feedback. Going beyond current feedback systems, our haptic driving seat informs the driver through tactile information what level of engagement or situational awareness is required. Imagine you're sitting on a comfortable seat in a car that doesn't require you to be engaged. Then the seat is stiffening, intuitively communicating with you to take back control. The car seat is made out of robotic structures that are made out of silicon or rubberite material. And these robotic structures are distributed over the entire car seat and will give the human tactile and touch information. If we aim at deploying robots into society and we expect everyone to successfully engage with them, we need to profoundly understand how humans and robots can interact successfully with one another. Autonomous vehicles are going to be one of the first robots that the majority of people are going to engage with on a daily basis. If we gain users' trust for these autonomous cars, we will be able to harvest all the opportunities that these systems can provide for us, including improving the efficiency of our public transportation systems.